This tutorial provides instructions on incorporating additional temperature inputs on Camus Dynafling, Dynaforce, and Advanus appliances. On arrival, the Camus Dynaflame, Dynaforce, and Advanus will be equipped with a 10 kOhm system or domestic hot water sensor, which is pre-wired into the junction box on terminals 20 and 21. The same procedure will apply to an outdoor sensor wired into the junction box on terminals 20 and 21. The outdoor sensor is wired to boiler 2 when operating on a lead lag algorithm. For a standalone boiler application which requires system sensor modulation and outdoor reset, you will need to use an outdoor reset module, which is shipped loose and is wired into the ECOM terminals on J3 of the Honeywell Soul. The Honeywell Sola does not actively seek these inputs from the factory, and this must be enabled on site. To configure additional sensors, you will need to be logged in before proceeding. From the home screen, press the Configure button and select Sensor Configuration. To enable the System Sensor or Outdoor Sensor input, locate the S5 sensor parameter and select 10K NTC Single Non Safety. To enable the domestic hot water sensor, locate the S6-S7 sensor parameter and select 10K NTC single non-safety. To indicate that terminals 20 and 21 is an outdoor sensor input, you will need to select the outdoor temperature source as S5J8 pin 11 sensor. If you are using the outdoor reset module, you will select Envirocom outdoor sensor. The control will proceed to a lockout 2 condition and this can be resolved by pressing the verify button and confirm the parameter updates that were applied. Press the reset button on the Honeywell Sola when instructed to do so. This will remove the lockout 2 condition and you will also see the additional temperature input selected on the home screen. 